Hey everyone, what's up? Welcome to another 5 minute game. I'm playing Boko. Uh, we have a Shveshnikov. And I like to play this line. It's kind of boring, but... Wait, let me make sure I'm playing the right moves. Bishop e2 is what I do. I almost put it on d3 by accident. And then I go queen to d3. I meant to go b3, but it doesn't matter. Does it matter or not? Probably not. I can probably just go bishop f3 here, which is the standard thing. But usually I go b3 after a5. Alright, let's think, folks. I could actually go a3 now, though. Ah, what the hell, I only live once. I haven't gone B3, but maybe it helps me. Or, you know, I just gain a move in this kind of A3 break. Trolling very sophisticated intelligent art. Alright, let's think. I, I guess um, maybe now I'll go b3 and then we'll <laughs> we'll get the situation that we were going to get anyway. Alright. So he has an a pawn that's the target, I have a b pawn that's the target. Whose target's more important? I don't know. We'll find out eventually. Stay tuned, folks. What inning is the World Series game on, guys? And forgive me, everyone's watching this way after the World Series is over, so... Sorry, these tape these are uploaded with some delay. <coughs> Bishop to e6. Hmm. I'm gonna just play the standard h3. This is a tough position for me to, to figure out how to proceed because what's my plan here really? I don't know. What I'm gonna do is just play some normal looking moves. Like I'm gonna do this. He's gonna go put his rook on b7. Oh he can't right away because I take on f5. And my plan is maybe I'll play knight e3 next move and try to someday attack his d6 pawn. But even when I tape in d6, he has moves like bishop e7, so it doesn't feel so amazing. Oh, what about the reroute, knight c3 to b5? I like that idea. That's what I'm going to do. I like it! Um, the only thing we have to worry about, bishop e7, knight b5, d5. Right, now I'm happy. This I like. Because now we've blocked his rook on b8 from our target. So I feel like this is a, definitely a small success for us. i got to figure out where to put the rook. I think a2. No, a4. a2 puts it on the eye of knight to b4. Uh, bishop g4 looks standard here. Gaining control of the getting more control of the light squares. I can take and go queen d5, which looks like a nice end game for me. That's what I'm going to do. Uh, I should I can take with a pawn and win his I can win his a pawn. I think I'll do that. Let's think though. If I take with the e pawn and he goes knight a7. Sure I win an a pawn, but how strong is it? Rook a5, knight takes, rook takes. Mm, it's not really that strong. So I'm going to take with the rook. Don't be so materialistic, Greg. Although, like, it's much harder to um, do anything special here. I should have thought harder about that. So maybe I had a good move. Let's see, is c5 good? I mean, what? Oh, no, he could take my knight. <laughs> uh, what do I do then? How do I do this? Alright, let's bring my rook back. He'll get his king to e6. I'm going to hope to find some, some tactics somewhere. I'm going to go f3 though, just to stop any h5, g4 things. I'm going to bring my king to like, maybe c3. Mm, I think knight a3. 
Then you can you can go back. Okay, I'm gonna go back actually. Hmm. All right, I'm gonna let him have the B4 square. Sometimes in life you gotta give up a square for a second, but when he goes to B4, I'm gonna go Knight C2. It's not that big a deal, I think. Other possibly Knight B1 to C3. I'm gonna do that actually. I want that. I want that D5 square. What's his plan? I don't know. He wants to activate his... Oh, wow. Um, I'm going to take this, actually. Okay, one, I suppose. I'll probably go knight c6. I was wrong. Rook b7. Uh, I, I could have done something, but it wasn't that good. I just want my king on c3. I could have taken a d6, but it, a knight c7 check, but it's bad. Uh, okay. He's going to get the D. Nope. I want to be able to go work A. A2 if he goes... Uh, I want to go B4 if he goes A4, actually. I still feel like I'm better. The problem is my clock. See what happens. You know what? I should put something on the this file so that if he ever goes, I'll take it and go over H1. Now I'm coming in from the other side of the board. You can do the same though. Oh, now both my rooks are coming. If he goes a4, b. Whoa, 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 me. Hold on, buddy. You lost all your pieces, dude. Yay! Um. I think I played well. Mostly well. I mean, I kind of made him suffer in an like, unpleasant position forever, and then eventually he cracked. So, what else can I do? What else can I do? Is anyone talking about the game at all? Let me see. Nope. 10th inning! It's the 10th inning? I'm gonna have to watch. Thanks, Durzo and Railbird. Um, yeah, I mean, basically this game, I just kind of, as you saw, I kind of just smothered him the whole time. And it, it eventually he couldn't he couldn't take it anymore, and he blundered. Uh, and you know I opened this other this other file up. I thought he should have played uh, rook, maybe rook g7 here, but like he's just dealing with so many threats. But rook g7 looks pretty pretty standard, just to go to g3. I wasn't 100 percent sure what I'd do. I mean yeah, he should definitely go rook g7, and it's probably okay for him. I think I misplayed it a little somewhere when I. Uh, when we went to the rook end game, I probably had some more incisive way, like rook a2 and try to go b4 somehow. <clears throat> like rook a2, 
Rook a2, g4, take, take, and then move the king away and plan to go b4. Oh, but then whenever I go b4, you can go rook c7. Uh, king d3, idea b4. I think we're just going to win a pawn, pretty much. Although after king d3, you can go rook b7 again. It's maybe not so simple. The point is, if I go f b4 right away, he takes with check. Anyway, I'll take the win. Uh, thanks, guys, for watching. See you next time. Bye-bye.